Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit overdue, but I'm excited about it. It's a spring porch makeover. It's kind of a spruce up video, just a little bit of deep cleaning and some planting of some new flowers, some spring flowers. So if you're into that kind of thing and you really like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I'm Jamie and my big kids, Penelope and Clark are gonna be helping me today. And I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe to our channel for lots of videos like this organizing, um, home decor, holidays. We, we do all kinds of things around here. So I hope you choose to become part of the Bloom family. We are excited about today's video, mostly because of the weather, because let me tell you, the weather here is unreal. We have had already days that are almost 100% humidity and well into the 80s, a couple of days that were 90s, but today it's in the 60s. So it feels amazing. My kids are playing all morning outside and we're just excited to jump right in and get this porch makeover done. We're spending so much more time on the porch, probably like you, just playing outside and uh, staying around the house, you know, these days. So I'm excited to have a space that we really do um, enjoy and that's a little more comfortable for the family. So we're gonna jump right in and I will kind of tell you along the way what all we're doing and how we're getting it done. So stick around and I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, our porch is in desperate need of a spruce up. So I'm just gonna get started by really clearing out the space and taking everything off the porch so that I can start cleaning and start rethinking how I'm gonna put everything back. My husband had already done quite a bit of work on the porch the last week or so. We had some wood that needed to be replaced on our columns and they really needed a fresh coat of paint. So he took care of all that and I was so grateful. I got started on this day with the front door. The front door is one of my favorite places on the porch, but it is so hard to keep clean. This black paint, it's like impossible. I swear you, the more you wipe it, the more it needs to be wiped. So I was just kind of smearing the pollen around at first, and then I decided to add some pine salt to my hot water bucket, and that really seemed to help. It ended up lifting up a lot of that dirt and pollen that had just kind of accumulated over the winter time. The kids were running into the same problem that I had with the furniture. They were just wiping and wiping and wiping and it just seemed like it was never getting clean. But we did uh, we did eventually get it clean enough and, um, and I, I ended up being happy with it. It's beautiful, but it is hard to keep clean that black paint. Once the door was pretty clean, really it's never gonna be as clean as I want it to be, but I figured it's outside, so I just have to kind of let it go. I got started on the windows, and these I was able to just kind of brush off with the broom, but I really wanted to get that glass clean because it really makes such a difference. I don't think you realize how dirty your windows are until after they're clean, and then it just feels so good. So Penelope was helping me, <laughs> or trying to help me. And, um, and we got these, uh, these windows done. She got busy on her own little project here in a minute that is, uh, we, she did such a good job on. This little welcome mat, she was so, so excited about getting it clean. And let me tell you, she took that rag and she cleaned every crack and every crevice of that mat. I was so proud of her. It kept her busy for a while and I was able to get a lot of the window clean and done. I don't know if you can tell, but we fought the wind all day on this day. Whenever we were cleaning, everything was blowing around. You can actually see the camera in a couple of these shots that uh, was almost getting blown over off the tripod because the wind was picking up so much. But it was so much better than sweating and dying of humidity. So, hey, I'll take it. Anytime I can get a little breeze in South Louisiana, it is worth it. Today was the best day to get this done, and I am so, so glad. We took advantage of it and got outside and just tackled it. I can see the light. Oh, well. 
Although the kids had already given these a really good wipe down, they actually did a pretty good job. It wasn't quite clean enough or maybe it just dried and then I could see the pollen again. So I went after it again with that pine salt mixture and it really helped. But gosh, these black chairs are beautiful against the white house, but man, they sure are hard to keep clean. So it's kind of one of those things I'm constantly wiping, but I think it's worth it because I really love the look on the porch. pair of these whiskey barrels a couple of years ago really discounted actually at a grocery store on my way out they caught my eye and I think I paid less than $30 a piece for them so I have two of those they go on either side of my door and I had you know I have poinsettias in there in the holidays and um, you know just seasonal flowers so I'm excited to spruce them up for spring I actually my mother-in-law had a lot of fern growing just kind of next to a shop in their yard and it was you know <laughs> it was free for the taking so I took it she told me to just really really gently pull right here at the root and it would come right up and it's honestly it just kind of came up in big clumps and so I am so excited it doesn't look that great but I'm gonna do really well with watering I promise and hopefully I can nurse it back I'm gonna make three fern hanging baskets for each of the three places on my porch and I'll show you that in just a minute my husband put some hooks up last night and so I'm excited to get those to get those up I think it's really gonna change the front of the house but we're gonna do three of these with ferns and then the whiskey barrels will have a little bit of extra fern in them if I have any left over I'm gonna use these caladiums I'm gonna use some asparagus fern which I think will look really good at they that, that fills out really well and then some alyssum, some white alyssum, which is always so so cute and pretty. I have some red impatience, two packs of those. And then I got some of that deep blue, oh gosh, this is so pretty, this terenia, or terenia, I'm not sure how to say it, but it's a deep blue color and I really, really love it. So anyway, I'm gonna do a, some mixed florals in those whiskey barrels. I think that's really gonna kind of spruce it up. I have a wreath that's gonna go on the front door that has some of this, this purpley blue in it. So I think that's gonna be really pretty. So I'm gonna get started on that. As you can probably already tell, I didn't really have a plan going into this. I, um, I don't ever really have a plan going into anything, honestly. I just kind of knew that I wanted it to look really eclectic and kind of thrown together. And so that's, that's really what I was going for. I knew that I wanted to put the taller stuff in the back. So I knew the caladiums and then the small pieces of fern that I was going to add at the end were going to go in the back and then the shorter flowers and, you know, ground cover that was going to kind of spill over the front, like the asparagus fern and that, that that would look best kind of on the front edge of it so that it could kind of spill over, like I said, but I really didn't have much of a plan. I was just kind of winging it and um, adding soil as I needed to, so it was uh, it was easier to match that way because I just kind of did one the way I liked it, and then I, I ended up doing the second one just to you know to kind of complement it. So you know it's not perfect, but I definitely think it's gonna it's gonna work for now for sure, and I think it'll look a whole lot better once it grows in. This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise Everything's alright We have been longing for each other And it feels like I'm on cloud nine Okay, I went ahead and 
and did the second one so that they would match pretty good <laughs> again they're all it's all pretty random but I really like the way they turned out I think it's gonna bring a lot of color to the porch and they're gonna be a little a little far apart you know they're not gonna be right next to each other like this so you won't be able to see that they're not exactly alike but I am happy with the way they the way they turned out I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the porch where they go and we'll start putting things back together these barrels are so dang heavy I'm trying to look really cool in this video so that it doesn't look like they're very heavy but oh my gosh I was sore the next day they are so so heavy I had probably should have called on my husband to help but I really wanted to get it done and surprise him when he got off work so I'm glad I got it done but man I am not planning to pick those up anytime soon The last part I'm going to tackle are the hanging baskets. This is where I'm using the recycled fern and um, it gave me a little bit of trouble. It was really pretty tricky to get in there. I, um, I'm only showing you one that I that I did, but I did all three and they, like I said, <laughs> they really were tricky. It was worth saving the money, but you know, I had to, I really had to clean off the roots a lot just to get them to fit in the pots. But my mother-in-law assures me that all you have to do is make sure the roots are covered in soil and they will take and they will just really fill in and look really, really good. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that we have success with this and that I don't have to end up repotting um, fern that I buy from the store. I'm, I'm really thinking this is gonna work, so. So happy with the way it turned out I absolutely love the color in the whiskey barrels and then also on the front door I added the wreath that I, I used that last summer here I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see it better there you go I had that last summer I think I picked it up at Cracker Barrel maybe but I just love the colors and then whenever these whiskey barrels bloom a little bit more and they start to fill in a little bit I think it's really gonna tie in really well so yeah I'm hoping my ferns hang in there and do what they're supposed to do because they look a little bit of a hot mess right now but i think that uh i think they'll be nice it saved me about 40 dollars getting those ferns from my mother-in-law and it's neat because they came right from her yard so i thought that was really really special but yeah i'm excited to hang out here this evening on the porch and um actually use the space and it's clean and it's ready that is gonna do it for today. I tell you what, my back is killing me <laughs> lifting those heavy barrels and my fingernails are black. Look at that, my fingernails are black underneath. So I need to go get in the shower and I can hear the baby waking up on the monitor. So it ended up being perfect. I'm so excited to get this marked off the list and have another project done and another space we can enjoy with this awesome weather. I hope you guys have a great week. Make sure you're following me on Instagram if you're not at Bloom Creative Co. for all kinds of tips and things throughout the week that I know you'll love. And I'll see you right back here on YouTube with a brand new video next week. <music>